You are as powerful as the relationships you have. Hear what I'm saying. You are as powerful as the men that stand by you even financially to support you. The quickest way to rise and scale financially is through the ministry of men. It's favor from God, but through men. I've shared with you the story of Isaac, of, of Abraham and Lot. I've shared with you the story of Abimelech and Abraham. I've shared with you the story of Esther and Ahasuerus. I've shared with you the story of Ruth and Boaz. All of these people prospered through relationships. Who hates you does not matter. I will repeat, Koinonia. But who likes you matters. May good people like you. When God wants to accelerate your journey into becoming financially blessed, he will connect you not by your manipulating your way into their lives. He will connect you by his spirit. When you meet someone of means, he will bless you according to his riches in glory. There is glory in riches. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Most likely, if you meet a billionaire, the likelihood that he will give you 10,000 um, it may not be because no matter how he tries to reduce it his realm does not allow him to give you less than a particular amount it's not pride it's just how they are their unit of operation is somebody else's miracle whether you believe it or not, it's not I am telling you how it works it's as honest and as simple as that That means many of you have not received from God. Because if what I have said is true, then if God really reaches down to you and it does not surprise you, it has not arrived. Are we together now? Let me tell you how God blesses. Cast your net to the right side immediately. Did you see what they caught? Let me tell you how God blesses. Your wine, your oil, your flour will not deplete and that woman lived up to it let me show you how God blesses by this time tomorrow and Samaria was in an avalanche hmm. for someone whilst you are seated here your parcel from heaven after many many days and many years of witchcraft operation stopping it from arriving Whilst you are here in Koinonia, it has finally arrived the world of men. And in the name of Jesus, listen, let me tell you the truth. And I don't, I hate to sound arrogant and forgive me if I do. But even as a human being in my own little way, God has used me to extend love and compassion in the area of finances to people. And I have seen what it has done to them. This is me as a man. I've had the honor of giving somebody one naira, two naira, and I've seen how it changed their lives. How much God? What are you saying? God can end your prayer request in a moment. I'm telling you. You don't believe me? I'm not talking about finances, so. But as I just said, it, it's just compassion that came from my heart. Value, favor. Now, let me tell you the truth. Value is your own responsibility. But you see, you can have what to give and be serving the wrong people. They would still not bless you. It is the assignment of God to keep rearranging your audience till you find yourself in the midst of the people who have a recognition for what you carry. And I'm praying it for someone because you are gifted. Truly, you have worked on your gift. But the audience you have been serving are wrong audience. They don't have... Listen, if you find yourself in the midst of people who are not ordained to celebrate what you carry, they can despise you even if you are a champion. When God wants to help such a man, he rearranges your audience. I have taught you here, Joseph interpreted the dream of the baker. The same gift that made him a king, but nobody rewarded him because of the person's dream he interpreted. He interpreted the dream of the wine presser. He remained there. But when the king dreamt and he interpreted the king's dream, immediately he became prime minister. Same gift. 
Not an addition, just a change of audience. Let me prophesy to someone. May my God change your audience. May my God bring kings before you. Gatekeepers before you. Captains of industry before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you the truth. For many years, I served many territories with the grace God gave me. But of course, it's the law of process. I served many territories that had disdain for this grace that you celebrate today. But when God wanted to show me mercy, he changed the audience and brought you. Hear me. There are many businessmen hearing me here. What you carry can give you an international standing. But it is wrong people who have been seeing your ideas. And they will be striking a pen on great destiny altering ideas. What you need is for the right person. There are people who have been praying for you. They just don't know you are the one they are praying for. They have been praying for a secretary and yet you are close to them. You are the kind of secretary that they will, even if it's one million naira per month, they will pay you. If they really discover that you are the one. Do you know a man can pray and not know what he's praying for? A man can pray and not know how his answer will look like. I'm praying for you again. The person ordained to reward you for what you carry, to reward your many years of investment. I call upon the God of my covenant tonight. Between now and the end of next month, may you find these people. May they find you. May you find them. May they find you. May there be a meeting point in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. When you find the man your gift was sent to bless, they will almost worship you. You will be flattered and say, you mean this thing I have despised. Hello, look up. I hope you know the people to buy the oil of the, of the wife of the prophet. Maybe they were praying, God, you mean nobody has oil? Whereas the oil they would buy was in a house, but was in a quiet jar somewhere. After the prophet spoke, and it multiplied. He said, go and sell it. Meaning there are customers. You just have not seen them. There are people that when they see you, your oil will not spend the night. They will say, we have been praying for you. There are architects here. You have been meeting the wrong people. You, you should be designing cities. And yet you are still begging for mini projects. Because the wrong audience. I pray for you. May the God of my covenant rearrange your audience. Rearrange your audience. Rearrange your audience. Can I tell you the truth? Listen to me. When the right people see your gift, they will announce to their circle. That's what makes it the, the factor becomes so it's like wildfire. They will call all their friends and say, The person we have been praying for. The HR consultant we have been praying for. The man of God whose messages we have been praying to hear. Whoever is praying for you. Praying that you arrive. Praying that you come into their space. By prophecy, I push you to their space. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please be seated. it down for me. Are you learning tonight? So when the glory of God wants to find expression in your life, it finds expression as wisdom. It finds expression as power. It finds expression as wealth. Wealth provides possibilities. There are things you cannot do if you are not blessed. You cannot do. You can make noise and you cannot do it. It's as simple as that. I will always make reference to the privilege God has given us to hold the conferences we are holding across many nations. That has happened by the Spirit of God. It's one thing to hear God. 
but it's another thing to have the capacity to obey him. There are many of you who God has given instructions to, but the wherewithal to obey is not there. Again, I pray for you one last time. In the name of Jesus, I know you have ideas, but may help us start the financial journey for you. May God raise someone to help you with your rent. May God raise someone to buy you a vehicle. May God raise someone to give you a house. It's not laziness. It's called the help of God. It doesn't make you lazy. It only gives you acceleration. Receive it in the name of Jesus.